Africa's insane plants to plant trees across 8,000 kilometers from Senegal to Djibouti, the Great Green Wall. Hello, Displorers, and welcome to another interesting video brought to you by Desplore. And in this video, we will look at a topic that has taunted the minds of many Africans, home and abroad, and the world at large. The Great Green Wall over the years, we've seen countries invest in multi-million and multi-billion dollar projects, some of which are still in progress, and others that could not be completed. But it is quite rare to see a whole continent come together for a single project with a common goal. The Great Green Wall is Africa's flagship initiative to combat climate change and desertification and address food insecurity and poverty. It can be a game-changer for Africa, transforming the lives of millions of people by creating a great mosaic of green and productive landscapes across North Africa, the Sahel, and the Horn of Africa. Even though there has been some resistance from some African leaders, the project is already in progress, and hopefully, the resistance leaders see the vision and come to reason. Meanwhile, the involved parties are quite promising and are bent to see the project to completion. The Great Green Wall must not be seen as a wall of trees to hold back the desert. This idea that initially inspired the initiative has given way to the vision of a mosaic of sustainable land use practices. At the same time, the wall is a metaphor to express the solidarity between African countries and their supporters. But before we go to talk of the Great Green Wall in details, hey, you, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our new uploads. The world's most ambitious reforestation project, the Great Green Wall of Africa, has covered only 4% of its target area, but is more than halfway towards its 2030 completion date, according to a status report. More funds, greater technical support, and tighter oversight will be needed if the plan to plant 100 meter hectares of trees and other vegetation is to be realized, says the authors of the study, which was unveiled at a meeting of regional ministers. The Great Green Wall was conceived in 2007 by the African Union as an 8,000 kilometer cross continental barrier stretching from Senegal to Djibouti that would hold back the deserts of the Sahara and Sahel. Its supporters said it would improve livelihoods in one of the world's poorest regions, capture carbon dioxide and reduce conflict, terrorism and migration. At the launch of the report, ministers and United Nations officials highlighted the achievements so far which included more than 350,000 new jobs, $90 million in revenue, and 18 million hectares of land restoration in participating countries. The Great Green Wall is a new world wonder in the making, said the UN Deputy Secretary General, Amina Mohamed. She further said, it shows that if we work with nature rather than against it, we can build a more sustainable and equitable future. In terms of the target area, however, progress was far less impressive. After an investment of more than $200 million, only 4 million hectares have been planted in the past decade. Therefore, to achieve the 2030 target, more than twice that area will need to be restored every year at an annual cost of $4.3 billion. In a call for more sustainable agriculture, clean energy and water management to deal with the dry lands of Africa by African Union's Commissioner for Rural Economy and Agriculture, Josefa Sacco, the results varied enormously from country to country. Ethiopia, which started reforesting earlier than other nations in the region, is a front-runner, having reportedly planted 5.5 billion seedlings on 151,000 hectares of new forest and 792,000 of new terraces. Other countries have lacked due to different geographies, levels of governance, and economic development. Burkina Faso planted 16.6 million plants and seedlings, and Chad 1.1 million though both nations received more financial support for the project. A major
major problem is monitoring, due to the fact that individual nations provide their own estimates. But there are doubts as to how many of the 12 million trees planted in Senegal, for example, have survived. One of the main problems we had was to try to track the project, because there is not a good monitoring and evaluation system in place, said Salwa Baba, a research analyst with Climate Echoes, the firm hired to draw up the report. We don't know where the money goes exactly, or how it is used. Some scientists have expressed skepticism about creating walls of trees when grasslands can be more effective in certain regions. Shifting climate patterns have also slowed or reversed the expansion of some deserts. There is also greater political support for investing in soil restoration and water management of productive areas, rather than planting trees in remote sparsely inhabited areas, says the scientist. This has affected the objectives, if not the enthusiasm and effectiveness, of the project. Chris Rage of the World Resources Institute said the modest results until now show the need for more focus on what has and what has not worked. I am a fan of the GGW. It's a very useful initiative which shows the political will of government to fight land degradation, he said. Countries of the GGW include Burkina Faso, Chad, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, and Sudan. The GGW is a symbol of hope in the face of desertification, one of the foremost challenges of our time that has upended livelihoods in the Sahel and turned the region into one of the poorest in the world. Once complete, the world will be the largest living structure on the planet, a grown, not built world wonder stretching across the entire width of the continent of Africa. Under the leadership of the African Union Commission and Pan African Agency of the Great Green Wall, and with the financial support from the government of Ireland, the initiative has united African countries and international partners in an endeavor that could see a hundred million hectares of degraded land restored. 250 million tons of carbon sequestered and 10 million green jobs created by 2030. There you have it, the explorers, Africa's insane plan to plant trees across 8,000 kilometers from Senegal to Djibouti. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our interesting videos. Leave a comment and let us know what you think about the Great Green Wall.